<clears throat> Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. It's Makeda Valletta, also known as the Body Scientist. And um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about air quality. Um, this is something that I think about a lot, but um, in the past couple of days especially. Uh, as you may or may not know, I'm from New York City and I travel around a lot. Um, but my background is in exercise and sports science, starting off in biotechnology. So I do have a background in organic chemistry and biochemistry. And I'm very much a believer in using natural um, products when it comes to what you're consuming, what you put on your skin. Like I, I only put cocoa butter on my skin. Um, I'm in Miami right now. I would never put um, suntan, I mean I would never put um, sunscreen on my skin because it's full of cancer-causing chemicals, among other things. Um, and so I'm very picky about that because it, it backfires on us. And so when you start to eliminate like toxic chemicals out of your system, like you start eating real food instead of food that has MSG and artificial flavors, when you start eating like actual um, stuff that's made from actual aromatic herbs, you when you go back to eating garbage, you can taste it. It tastes like chemicals. It tastes like cherry flavoring and not cherries, right? And so for me with the air, it's like a lot of people who like spray air freshener, perfume, cologne, it makes me absolutely sick. The smell of like, you know, chemical, um, chemical colognes and air freshener just smells like poison to me. It doesn't smell good at all. I can taste it. It makes me sick. Like if I'm in a closed up environment, this is one reason why I hate, I hate hotels. Um, the air in hotels is so stuffy to me. And I feel like I need like circulation of air. I need fresh air. And come to find out that is actually true. Because when people are using different products to clean, people are coughing, sneezing, breathing um, in a place and you never open the window and get fresh air. Then people turn on the air conditioning. The air conditioning um, causes the air to be negatively charged. You can have um, negatively and positively charged oxygen, right? So the more negatively charged ions you have in the air, the more potent the toxins are in the air. So they become more potent. We want um, positively charged air. And we get that from being up high. So the higher up you go in the mountains, the more positively charged the air is. Um, when the wind blows over large bodies of water, that makes positively charged um, air and oxygen. And so that's what we really need. So the air conditioning causes, uh, causes negative oxygen ions to be in the air, to be present in the air. And then you don't open the window. And then you're using all these toxic chemicals. I don't see how people don't smell that, you know, like how they don't feel that. Because I definitely do. Um, I immediately start to get sick. You know, a lot of people say that they get... Um, congested from consuming dairy, but everybody that knows me knows I eat a lot of ice cream, I drink raw milk, I eat lots of cheese, yogurt, dairy is like my best friend, and I'm never congested, never do I have a cold, but when I'm someplace that I'm closed up in, like right now I'm in Miami, and before that I was in New Orleans, and it's like, it's not even that hot, and people have the air conditioning on, and I'm like, it's not hot, like in the summertime, yes, I can understand why you put the air conditioning on in Miami and New Orleans. But in New Orleans, it was like in the 60s, you know. Here, it's like in the 70s. It's not hot. Everybody has air conditioning blasting. But then they say that they can never live up north or they can't take the winter. But I'm like, you say you can't take cold weather, but you're always sitting in the air conditioning. The, why don't you want to feel outside air? And it's like, I can't breathe. You know, people's houses air conditioning are closed up. Then they go get in the car, air conditioning and closed up. I feel like I'm suffocating. And it does um, change the, the electrical charge of the air. You do need fresh air to rotate in. A lot of times the air inside of a place is more toxic than it is outside. No matter how toxic the air may be outside, no matter, sorry, no matter how toxic the air may be outside, a lot of times it's more toxic inside. So like for example, an airplane. You know, airplane is so small. Every little cough, sneeze stays on there. They never open the windows in the airplane. And then you have, you know, it's just like, just sitting there, sitting there. And then another thing, um, when I got off the plane in New Orleans, you know, I love that swamp air. Maybe because my family's from Florida. I love the, the, the air in Florida. I love the air in um, 
in Louisiana or just that humidity, swampy feel. But when you get off the plane in New Orleans, you can smell it. Like it smells mildewy, you know. Um, so you can definitely smell that it's not the best quality air ever. But still, you know, when I get into the Uber and I ask the woman if she could put the window down, I'm like, I need fresh air. And she says to me, um, oh, but that air is not really that fresh. But it's like it's still better than sitting in this car with this air I need. I can't breathe. I can't. Okay. Um, then the other thing is incense. A lot of people burn incense thinking that they're putting some good chi in the air or they're doing something good. But a lot, most incense, most of them, are made from toxic residues. And that Nag Champa stuff is number one. Okay. I never understood how people burn that Nag Champa all the time. Something bit me in the back or something. Ugh, there's, so, there's pros and cons about every place because I love tropical weather, but now all these tropical bugs that want to bite you. But, um, Anyhow, Nag Champa is really toxic. It has a, it puts a residue in the air um, that's really bad, and I can feel it. Like, I've been people's houses or in their cars where they're burning that, and it's just like the air just feels dusty. Like, you can smell the residue. Um, if I'm going to burn incense, it has to be very good quality incense. But most of them are not good quality, most of them. Um, and one of them that is very good quality is one by a company called Fred Souls. Fred Souls, S O L L uh, V S. Um, it's made in New Mexico. That's the best quality incense I've ever come across. They're kind of costly, but very good quality. But if you're burning incense all the time, uh, spraying air freshener, you have plug ins. I get into cars, I get into cars, and um, you know, people have the, those little scented trees that hang from the, uh, the, the, the rear view mirror. All the artificial stuff is so bad for you. All you have to do is go look it up if you don't believe me. Go Google it, okay? Cleaning products that you use. You know, the cleaning products that you use is a big deal. So if you're just using regular stuff, you know, like you, you live in a house. Oh, and the carpet. The carpet. The carpet is another thing that often makes the air quality really bad because um, carpets hold on to a lot. That's why. That's one reason why I chose to move to Chicago, because um, oh, I don't know what happened. Because I wanted wood floors. You know, you know, I want I want beautiful wood floors. Carpets they can be okay sometimes, but they hold on to a lot of dust, a lot of residue. So you know, you have people that have a carpet. They got the air conditioning on all the time. Um, then they may have pets. You know, then they they clean the house with regular cleaning products. The air conditioning is always on. That's a really, that's really toxic air. And then people may wonder why they're getting sick and why this person has that. Like, no, that is toxic air. You need fresh air. Um, and it's funny because, like I said, I know so many people, when I, when I came to New Orleans, you know, air conditioning, blasting, uh, and I'm just like, I am warmer in Chicago. I am warmer in New York because we put the heat on. If it's 65 degrees, we put on the heat. When I'm in California and it's 65 degrees or 60 degrees, people don't put on the heat and I'm cold. Okay, bone chilling cold. I'm cold when I'm in New Orleans. I'm cold when I'm in Florida because people want to turn the air conditioning on all the time when it's not even hot outside. Okay, but then they swear they can't live in the winter. So it's just crazy. But um, I just had to have this talk about air quality. Just understand, like right now it might be in the 70s. If I went to a restaurant, I'd want to sit outside. Why would I want to go inside? and sit inside a freezing cold place. It's not even good for your health to go from such drastic temperatures, actually. Like if it's warm outside or hot outside, you go in this freezing cold place. It's actually very bad for your immune system, you know. Um, but people are just so ridiculous. And when it actually is hot in the summertime, like there are times when it's so hot, yes, you need air conditioning. But people shouldn't be in it all the time. Sweat. Instead of going to a sauna, and sitting on an artificial sauna, which I would never do. You would never catch me doing that. Instead, I'll just sweat and be hot when I'm someplace and it's hot. I'll deal with it. I'll just keep hydrating, drinking coconut water, drinking watermelon juice, staying hot for as much as I can. That's my sauna. Real life shit. Not going to the gym and sitting in a dirty little room, hot room, or whatever little spa. Like, just be hot in real life, okay? Okay, so um, I hope this video was helpful. I will be posting it on my YouTube page, The Body Scientist 81. Thanks for listening and have a good day.
Bye, people.